वेलकम बैक अभिषेक कोथारी आर फाइनेंस कंपनी एनलिस्ट इज लिसनिंग इन टू द डी एच एफ एल कॉन्फ्रेंस एंड वी विल कट टू अभिषेक एज एंड वेन ही टेल्स अस दैट समथिंग इम्पॉर्टेंट इज बींग आंसर्ड Yep. The management is trying to assuage concerns, as we know, but the street is definitely not taking it too well. The stock actually has moved to the low point of trade right now, despite the management saying that you know all allegations of loans being disbursed to non-existent slum projects are false, and no company within the group is tagged as a shell company. Still, if you look at the stock, mm. stock is down almost about three or percent. So let's see what else they. Mm. Uh, it was in the green for a bit, as you can see, when the con call started, and they called out that some many of the. Uh, allegations mentioned uh, uh, in the investigation report are wrong but i want to know whether the, the corporate affairs ministry is probing and why uh, when that uh, when he answers that question we will cut in uh, and of course you are going to get a full view of whatever was said through the flashes that are running for you for the moment we have to turn to one of the big nifty stocks that announced numbers on friday but we couldn't do justice because we were on budget state bank of india rajneesh kumar chairman of state bank of india joins us now Good morning, sir. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, uh, since we have little time, let me just start with the key questions that worried investors. Your slippages are the lowest in 13 quarters, but I want to know if they will rise because of this second wave of defaults. You know, after IL and FS, we have had the SL Group, which has declared it isn't a problem, and then now you have DHF. So let us first, year by year, let us talk about five, uh, uh, FY19, right? FY19, our guidance was that our fresh slippages will not exceed two percent, right? And uh, till the third quarter, our slippages are thirty-two thousand crore, which includes the uh, increase in the outstanding in respect of NPA accounts. And our loan book is now currently at twenty-one and a half crore, right? And by March end, it will be twenty-three lakh crore. so uh, this uh, guidance which uh, i had given that our npa would not exceed 40000 crore fresh slippages so we are very much within that range right it can be lower it can be 40000 crore but not likely to be substantially higher than that each quarter there will be some variation so it doesn't mean that uh, if this quarter it is 6000 crore it cannot be 8000 crore uh, next quarter or it cannot be 4000 crore we are after all carrying a huge loan book of 22 lakh crore so that much allowance of 0.02 0.05% we always will have to be provided for and for next year our uh, estimate is that we should be able to contain fresh slippages below 30000 crore even if there is any exceptional situation right is even then the number cannot be higher than previous year it will still be lower under all circumstances okay, okay so fresh slippages to be contained below 30000 crores uh, mr kumar good morning and thanks for joining us your loan growth at 12% is improving uh, do you think it can be better than this 12% level by the end of the fourth quarter maybe slightly better because uh, as far as domestic growth is concerned it is now averaging 16% and uh, last year till february we had a negative itd growth this year uh, we are uh, having a, a positive itd growth of nearly 125000 crore so that means in last year in march there was a spike in the uh, credit growth so uh, when we will uh, measure yoy in march then maintaining 16 may be difficult and as far as our overseas book is concerned sometimes it depends upon the dollar rupee price also so between september december because uh, uh, there was a, a depreciation again and uh, that's why in rupee terms the balance sheet shrunk okay i think 12% plus is a very reasonable estimate and uh, we are not seeing any major change like it will become uh, 14 or 15 Okay, sir. So if you can hold on for a few minutes, sir. DHFL is answering uh, the rating agency's downgrade uh, yesterday. We're just cutting back to the conference. And I and I made that very amply clear that none of the MCA uh, uh, specific, uh, you know, and and yes, uh, we have not received any any queries from MCA yet. But uh, you know, these are not shell companies. 
uh, you know these are biz- these are entities where active lending has already happened and uh, you know adequate security has been created um, you know in favor of dhfl and with an excess of two and a half times two plus times cover on the on the lending done so uh, so yes i i hear that there are specific questions related to mca etc uh, you know which uh, um, uh, which 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 we would like to counter and say that none of these entities that the monies have gone to our our shell companies thank you the next question is from the line of praful kumar from pinpoint asset management please go ahead okay so he is not yet heard from the mca was yeah. the impression i got but uh, uh, clearly a lot of news agencies uh, were quoting a uh, MC officials are saying that they are probing uh, well, but the stock uh, to is down to the lowest point let the now down over 4% yeah i mean it, it's not yet come to the well. lowest yeah. but okay you're right that uh, after okay, since seeing, the last at least after the conference since the call, conference started, call yeah. yes i agree with you it's not convincing people but uh, mr rajesh kumar on that sir uh, what uh, is your uh, exposure to dhfl the that investigation said that your exposure is 11000 crores is it that much Uh, and do you fear it can continue to remain standard no we have 11000 crore exposure and uh, in last 3 years when we merged the bank so uh, our bank and associate bank uh, taken together was about 8000 crore so there has not been much increase and uh, the exposure is secure it is serviceable it is uh, the cash flows are positive there is a huge component of retail in the overall portfolio of the account you are talking about and uh, unfortunately sometimes we are in a situation where without verifying all the facts and sometimes statements are made i am not defending anyone right uh, or criticizing anyone but when it comes to financial markets or a listed company Uh, some prudence is de- required if somebody has solid proof to show that yes there is a 31000 crore this thing the total uh, uh, i believe that their total uh, uh, loan including lap lrd developer financing is not 31000 crore so uh, i think uh, uh, it's very difficult to go and discuss the individual account but uh, prima facie it appears to be an exaggeration as of now the rating is triple uh, a which has been which is continuous and all accounts with the state bank of india and all other banks are standard when ilfs crisis happened the cp was 9500 crore today it is 800 crore so even alm mismatch is not there but uh, even after that if something unusual happens then it is a different matter and that is where you take credit risk you operate within your prudential norms and uh, uh, state banks overall balance sheet is big so in absolute terms 10000 crore looks big it is definitely a big exposure but it is not something which will shake state bank of india no that it won't uh, it's just that it lately went up and that's the worry so uh, i uh, i'm out of time but i have to ask you about etihad we hear that uh, it is all set to up its stake in jet airways but at only 150 rupees and that mr goel will likely step down is this resolution plan signed sealed so it's still uh, a work in work in progress and what again has to be understood that whatever is to be done there are certain laws and regulations for lenders it is rbi framework for uh, any investment to happen there are sebi guidelines there are ministry of civil aviation guidelines there are uh, dipp guidelines on foreign investment so all these issues uh, one the plan uh, of course the outline i can say that is more or less ready but uh, implementation would depend definitely on all the regulatory and government approvals okay mr kumar thanks a lot for joining us and talking about sbi we've run out of time on bazaar but i just want to leave you with one group of stocks that have started to fall quite a bit right now 
the Adani group once again. Adani Enterprises, Adani Power are now down almost 8% apiece and big uh, volume damage as well. So not a good day of trade at all, especially for some of these, uh, you know, beleaguered names uh, in these groups. Yeah. But with that, it's a wrap on Bazaar. Thanks a lot for watching. Lots of trading ideas lined up on Chartbusters. Brought to you by SIS, a market leader in security, cash logistics and facility management. Boeing, the future is built here. And Tata Next Song. Suno, Bhaiya se zara poocho. Ladki walo ko haa bol de. Maa ko bolo, do baar mile. Ni jaldi kya hai? Maa, haa bol do. Kya? Yeh dekho, nominee pe kiska naam hai? Ruchi. Haa maa, woh galti se lik diya mene. Tu phaad di? Phaad di. Nahi. तो हम अपने से आगे किसी और की सुरक्षा का सोचा यही है मैं से हम का कदम एस बी आई लाइफ टर्म प्लान हाई ग्रोथ कंपनी नीड एसल्फ वट इज द राइट पैथ टूक्सेलरेट ग्रोथ EY has taken the time to really understand the challenges that we're facing and our vision for the future. Veridesk is a company that has evolved to offer a full suite of office products to develop fast, flexible workspaces. Veridesk is building something incredible and we are extremely proud to be a trusted business advisor. वैसे मैं ज्यादा रोमांटिक टाइप का बंदा हूं नहीं पर जब से इस लड़की को देखा ना ऐसा लगा कि अगर ये नहीं मिली ना तो मर जाऊंगा मीट द वन हु कैन कंप्लीट योर सेंटेंसेस साइन अप एट banihal.com India Bulls Consumer Finance Limited announces a public issue of secured redeemable NCDs offering fixed coupon of up to 11% allotment on first come first served basis Issue opens today 4th February 2019 to subscribe give a missed call on 8108100099 for risk factors refer prospectus available on SEBI exchanges and lead managers website Have you ever wondered how long do good things last Some last a few hours Some a few months And then there are those that last more than a lifetime Be remembered for good. Seagram's Hundred Pipers, true legend. This is TV18, and you're watching CNBC TV18. Brought to you by Boeing. The future is built here. Bajaj, the world's favorite Indian, and responsible mutual funds. Hi there, good morning. This is Chart Busters, a show where we highlight all the buzzing stocks of the day, get you expert advice on how to trade and capitalize on these stocks. I'm Mangla Malu. With me is Nigel D'Souza. Nigel, not particularly the greatest start uh, to a new week, down about 40 points for the Nifty. Is the Nifty Bank, which is not doing too well, and even the, in the mid-cap space, a lot of debt-related troubles, be it uh, DHFL or be it the Reliance ADAG Group stocks. That's right, Mangla. You know they say that the markets, yes, track the stock markets, but track the money markets more closely. Mm -hmm. Today, in fact, you know the word go itself, we saw some weakening in terms of the Indian rupee. That had weakened by closer on 30 paise all. So we should keep an eye out on the Indian rupee and the bond deals as well. Even in Friday's trading session, when the Nifty ended high with a gain of 60 points, there was a bit of a spike in terms of uh, yield. So the money market is clearly very, very cautious. There's going to be populism that's going to be coming out uh, into play. Maybe 75,000 crores in terms of a farm loan package wasn't as big as in. initially expected but otherwise the budget math is not really working out and that's why it seems the street is quite nervous and that explains why we're seeing a relative underperformance coming in from uh, the nifty bank in friday's trading session as well add to that and uh, the crude has gone to 63 yeah, dollars per barrel when the government is running a tight fiscal ship let's see what comes first up all the top stories and then we get cracking on individual stocks titan the top nifty gainer after delivering a, a solid set of numbers in the third quarter Brokerage is bullish on the stock. Management tells CNBC TV18 the industry business, industry, the jewelry industry is muted, but Titan has gained market share. 
And Zena Tinman bounces back from the day's low. It was earlier, remember, one of the top losers on the Nifty after the management tried to assuage investor concerns in a conference call. They've said that they're hopeful and confident that no one will sell pledge shares and they're confident of finding a buyer for some part of the promoter's stake. Reliance Communications tanks almost 40%, takes the other group stocks lower. Remember, Reliance Communications has decided to opt for insolvency proceedings after it failed to sell assets to repay lenders. Other Anil Ambani group stocks under immense pressure today. And ONGC, that's one of the big gainers in today's trading session. The government has increased its FY20 oil subsidy budget by 62%. CLSA says that they will see deep value in the stock and they reiterate a buy on both ONGC and Oil India. DHFL recovers from morning lows, still sitting with a cut of about a percent and a half after the management vehemently denies all alleged complaints against the company, says they have not received any query from Corporate Affairs Ministry. The stock fell over 10% intraday after ratings agency cut rating or put the rating on watch with negative implications. Okay, how do you trade uh, the Nifty from here? The Sensex is down as well, close to under 130 points odd. Ashwini Gujral joins in to give us his 10.30 a.m. call. Ashwini? See, basically banks were down uh, even earlier. Now in the last five minutes, IT is also begun to drop. So if banks, IT plus, you know, the mid caps, everything starts to fall. It becomes very simple to uh, give a direction. So uh, I would think that uh, this is the time to get short on Nifty, Bank Nifty, uh, because the market clearly is not getting enthused by whatever news we had uh, on Friday. And uh, sooner or later, we'll get back towards uh, you know 10600 thereabouts the only thing that's working is you know those small ticket consumption stories uh, which will not be able to hold up the market so this is a good time to you know get short on everything and once you know this sort of rumor mongering and now more cobra posts uh, uh, people will be active because you find the next beleaguered guy and he'll go down the tube 15 20% so not a great uh, confident market. Having said that, uh, Alliance Infra is a sell with a stop of 236, target of 220. Uh, IRB Infra is a sell with a stop of 144, target of 132. And HUL is a buy with a stop of 1810, target of 1845. Right, Ashwini, point well taken. As far as the IT space is concerned, the IT index currently at the low point of the day with all the stocks contributing on the other side. We have Infosys, Tech Mahindra as well as HCL Tech Wipro, all of them at the lows of the day. Also, take your point on consumption. Page Industries, United Spirits, Colgate, Dabur, all of them at the high point of the day. Uh, your disclosures? We have a short position on Bank Nifty because that's where the hit will come. It outperformed and now uh, that's where the bad news is also happening. So, uh, Bank Nifty will be down sharper than the Nifty. All right, Ashwini, thanks a lot for uh, stopping by and giving us your view on the markets and individual stocks. Let's slip into a short break, come back, we talk about HSIL, the stock higher in trade today, on the back of a good set of third quarter numbers, which came on the back of increased capacity. We'll get chatting with Sandeep Sikka, the CFO of the company, on the other side.